I bring up Twitter without fail, one of you writes in the comments down below, Grace, Twitter ain't real life. Well, here is an excellent test. Are people really that upset about what J.K. Rowling has said? I believe they are. But well, is enough to upset the box office? I think that they are, quite frankly. Uh, are people upset enough that Johnny Depp has been fired and replaced by Mads Mikkelsen? With all due respect to Mads Mikkelsen, this, this not his pro it's not his problem. Well, it kind of is. I think they are upset, to be honest. And I think Disney's going to be watching this audience reaction very closely as they decided to, what to do with their Pirates brand. I think it's compounded by the fact they kept Amber Heard in Aquaman 2. That makes it, you know, particularly unjust. Uh, although I guess it's not a perfect test because people don't particularly care for these Fantastic Beasts movies. Again, I'm sure someone will write, I like them, Grace. Well, that's fantastic. I'm so glad that you do. But you have to admit your numbers are reduced from the previous films. I have a friend who loves Harry Potter, absolutely loves Harry Potter. And they didn't even see the last movie. Uh, I don't think the Harry Potter franchise is doomed or doomed. I think that it's going to be fine. I think that I think that Discovery will make some big changes when they take over. I think they're going to make big changes across the board when they take over in the next year or so, probably in the next year. Uh, I think J.K. Rowling will have a significantly reduced role, not only because of all the crap she says, and, you know, she's got a lot of nerve considering how undiverse these movies have been. I mean, I don't. Even, I think that also is a problem for this franchise, and that it's almost impossible for a franchise to be successful these days without any diversity whatsoever. Even the diversity it claims to have is um, really just lip service. They, it's not meaningful. Uh, but also, she does a horrible job. Uh, she's done a horrible job with these scripts. All right. So I think that you know, what is the benefit of keeping her? Quite frankly, it's all problem. It's all downside. Not like, but she's a genius. You're like, it's not even good material. All right, let's take a look at this thing. I, I'll, you know, many of us will still watch it. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm excited for the Brazil sections. Let's see if they really are some good ones or if they were just full of crap once again. All right, here we go. If you listen carefully enough, the past whispers to you. We're here to see Alice Dumbledore. That would be my brother. The world as we know it is coming undone. Grindelwald is pulling it apart with hate. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. <laughs> this is the team that's going to take down the most dangerous wizard in over a century. A magizoologist, his indispensable assistant. A wizard descended from a very old family, a school teacher. There's some diversity. And a muggle. Dumbledore asked that I give you something. Are you kidding me right now? Who wouldn't like our chances? Where did all these new cast members come from? We're, three mem we're the third movie in. Off to save the world, are we? They ditch, uh... Queenie and her sister? Things are not quite what oh, they she. appear. Swivel, but delicately. I'm swiveling like you're swiveling. I guess we have to have some beasts. It should have just been Dumbledore versus Grindelwald. I don't understand why the rest of this stuff is. Our war with the muckles! What is this place? The room we require. Ooh. Correct. Three points to Hufflepuff. Mm, that was nice. See, that's what we want. That's the point. Can I? Mm-mm. Very dangerous. I've forgotten the wrong hands. Mess you up. Where did you get it? <laughs> Look out for Christmas. Oh, that's good. Oh, the ending was good. The ending was good. Where's the damn Brazil section? Whatever, man. Whatever. Uh, that was great. I think that, you know, I gotta say, 
Mads Mikkelsen is a tad disappointing to me. Now he's just a straight Nazi. <laughs> I mean, at least Johnny Depp put some flourish on it to keep some of the fantasy elements. Now it's just uncomfortable. Uh, I think, you know, I hope that Ezra Miller does a better, a better job. Um, I still think it's unfortunate that Dumbledore, as the LGBT character, you know, I'm not even sure about Grindelwald. I think Grindelwald will do whatever he needs to to get what he wants, um, which is, is, is a fascinating quality for a villain, especially when you put that sexual aspect to it. But uh, I really wish that Dumbledore had more of a life. I mean, it's, it's, it's a shame to do that to that character. He's, you know, closeted. All right, so what did you think of the trailer? Are you going to see this movie in theaters? Uh, and um, are, you hope, are you enjoying this chapter, or are you excited to get on to the next one? Share those thoughts down below. Subscribe today. And, of course, as always, you can check out some more videos right now.